Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're a first time watcher, glad to have you here. If you're a returning favorite, welcome back. So, probably by you saw the title, you saw that we were talking about Kringle Candle Christmas. Now, we were talking about the Kringle Candle line of Christmas, not country. So, what Kringle's doing this year, um, they're splitting it up. Okay, so it's going to be eight new in the Kringle line, eight new in the country line. Kringle line comes first, followed by the country line. So, I have the country line's not even poured yet. So, all I have right now are the Kringle line, right, in the large two wick soy wax. So, Kringle line soy wax, country is paraffin. And right now, the information I have on a release for the Kringle line is October 1st. That would be next Saturday. Um, that could change. Uh, and if it does, I will post it in the description below, or, or and I will post it on my Instagram and whatnot. And you can always use uh, code PCM15 for that uh, to save 15% off, right? Um, so they're going to be available in the large two-wick tumbler, the medium, you know, these guys right here, the large two-wick soy wax, the medium soy wax. The three wicks are now going to be in soy wax going soy wax going forward, just like the Halloween three wicks are. So soy wax and those going forward. And then um, wax melts and daylights may or may not be available at launch. Not quite sure on those yet. Um, so let's get into it. Like I said, there's eight new fragrances this year. I do have all eight of them. So let's go ahead and let's talk about them. So I'll show them to you first. Um, also to note, the large and the medium two-wick tumblers are going to feature this artwork, okay? The three wicks are going to feature a screen-printed artwork. You know how they paint the jars um, like what they did for Halloween? So they're going to be different. They're going to be different labels than what you see here. So if you like the painting picture label, you know, the, the physical sticker label, you're going to want to get the two wick, right? Uh, the media, the uh, three wick is going to be a different design and it's going to be that painting with the texture on it there. So first up we have here is Sandalwood and Cade. I'll show you all these first, then we'll get into the scents. Tea and cookies. Bavarian Christmas, that is one of the most beautiful labels I've seen. Christmas Cabin, Winter Evergreen, Winter Wonder, cute little snowman on there, and Snowbird, Hummingbird with a Santa Claus hat on, and last, certainly not least, uh, away in a manger. And um, I always applaud Kringle for this because they are not one to shy away from uh, religious symbols on their candles uh, like some of the mainstream companies do. So away in a manger, just like Silent Night last year, um, does feature the nativity scene. So um, <clears throat> let's get into it here. Tea and cookies. Start with tea and cookies here. So here's the label there. We have a snowflake cookie. Um, with a uh, cup of tea. So, it doesn't actually smell like tea. Um, bear with me here. Um, so the top notes are marshmallow, butter, sugar, mid notes of cinnamon, nutmeg, and jasmine. Don't worry about that jasmine. Uh, base of vanilla, musk, and caramel here. So, as you can tell, there's no tea note in here, uh, nor is there necessarily a cookie note, right? You can get that from the nutmeg, you get that from the, um, not the jasmine, but the, the vanilla right in here and, and the butter. But <clears throat> what I get from this really is a vanilla marshmallow with uh, butteriness to it there. Like I said, don't mind that jasmine. It's not really detectable on cold and jasmine is a strong note. I don't really pick it up. But the butter and the sugar on here and the marshmallow and the vanilla but 
pretty strong on cold for the scent notes that is there. And the caramel underneath, underneath there. This will be really nice lit up here. Um, get that one going. It's really nice, uh, smooth gourmand, not warm, not like a heavy warm gourmand. It's more of a lighter weight gourmand. All right, here, Christmas Cabin. I love this label. Um, this one's good too. Uh, not quite my wheelhouse, but we'll, we'll get into it here. Uh, so it has top notes of cinnamon leaves, Italian lemon, pine needles, mid notes of cinnamon bark, clove, chamomile flower, and the base notes of cedarwood, tonka, and warm musket. So, uh, yeah, it's a cinnamon candle. It is a warm cinnamon. It's not a Bakery cinnamon, right? It's not like that sweet cinnamon, nor is it red hot cinnamon. Um, it is nice without being overpowering. So, if you knew, know, like Yankee Candle sparkling cinnamon, right? That's like bam in your face cinnamon, right? Red hot cinnamon. Take that, tone it down by at least 50%. Uh, <clears throat> And add a little bit of the, the flower note in here to tone it down a little bit. The chamomile. And it becomes a very pretty, relaxing cinnamon fragrance. If that makes sense. So. Would I buy this in the store? Maybe. Probably not, because um, I'm not huge on the red hot or the warm cinnamons. I tend to like the sweeter um, cinnamons, like uh, like in a cinnamon roll type deal, but not bad if you like cinnamon candles. So if you like cinnamon fragrances, this is great. Love the label on it. Label is top notch here. And they're all that, that painting canvas look, so love the label on this one here. Uh, uh, let's do this one here. Let's do Sandalwood and Kate. This one's very metallic. So if your decor is like white and gold, you know, that kind of like new modern, this is uh, perfect for you there. <clears throat> so this one is chilled eucalyptus, fresh thyme, white pine. Of the top notes, middle notes of apple leaf, warm cinnamon fir balsam, and then the base of cozy sandalwood, forest oak moss, oak moss and musk. So this one's kind of <clears throat> you get that um, eucalyptus with the time it mixes well. Eucalyptus by itself, uh, to me, is too astringent. I'm not a huge fan of eucalyptus, but you mix it with that time. Time kind of has. Yeah, an almost citrusy kind of feel to it. Um, <clears throat> but then you mix in the musk, and then it kind of goes in the oak moss, and it kind of levels it out uh, a lot, but it is so a, uh, and you get the frozen note. So you do get a cold, usually from the eucalyptus here. Does it have, and the, the pine, yeah, it's like a eucalyptus pine with the oak moss that adds a little masculine note towards the end here. Again, um, not for me. This is not my not my cup of tea here. <clears throat> but not bad. Now I will say here there there are eight fragrances here. Um there none of these I am like, ooh, I don't like at all. Um it's not my cup of tea. For this one here last year there was like one or two i wasn't really thrilled about at all um but i can say this year some aren't, aren't really my deal but um that's why scent is so personal right so if you have the white and gold decor perfect if you like those kind of fragrances more upscale there you go all right we got oh yeah five left here let's go with snowbird here this one's this one's cute um, with the hummingbird with the Santa Claus hat on there. 
<clears throat> so now these are kind of like the five that are more for me. Um, you remember like Winter Snowberry? Or, yeah, from Yankee a few years ago? This is a close cousin to it there. So this one says, Orange Zest, Snowfall, Balsam as your top notes. Mid of Peppermint's Cassis, Ice Cranberry. Base notes of Golden Amber, Cedar, Juniper Berries. So, the Orange Zest is here down that Snowfall, but that Peppermint note. That Peppermint note you cannot deny is in here, even though it's in the um, lid falling. Even though it's in the mid range, right? Um, Peppermint's just so strong to begin with. So, I would say if you don't like peppermint, stay away from this candle here because you're going to pick it up. But it's like peppermint with the juniper berries and a little bit of an orange zest in here. There is a candle in here that is a nice juicy orange. We'll get to that in a little bit. But yeah, if you had winter snowberry, I think that's what it was called, or snowberry drop drops or something like that. It was something weird. It had the white berries on it and whatnot. Um awesome note. Yes, in here a tinge. Can't get over that peppermint note and that the snowfall, which I think is like that um cold note. Again, when it burns, could be a little bit different here. So that is snowfall. Alright, now we've got this one here, Bavarian Christmas. Now, this label is something from a, another whatever. It is is gorgeous. It's an old church. It is gorgeous. The scent is equally as gorgeous here. So, the top notes are fresh, fresh frost, tongue twister, apple, lemon, mid notes of snowdrop, champagne, sugared pomegranate. Pay attention to sugared pomegranate. Cedar wood, cashmere, and iris. Don't worry about the flower. <laughs> um, so this is like sort of I don't want to say walking into a church. Um, but there's kind of a feel of going into an old church old church right wood construction church um with the cedar wood scent going on in here the fruity pomegranate it's a not a tart pomegranate at all it is a nice um fresh juicy pomegranate and then the lemon there's there's almost kind of an old like a leatheriness going on in this um it's, it's it's very pretty. Yeah, it's almost like the musk in this or the cedar wood rather, and uh, the the pomegranate. I like this one a lot. I really, really do. Um, based on set notes, I didn't think I was gonna like it. To be honest with you, but I really really like this one really like it all right we got three left here um winter evergreen winter evergreen look at the white wax and the label just just goes okay this is a very bright candle very bright right so the top notes are sparkling um aldehydes pineapple and mids of fir and rosemary and the base is a uh, Gulliac wood, musk, and cedar wood. So the sparkling aldehydes make it like bubbly and zesty and bright, right? Kind of like a uh, Sprite or a Seven Up fragrance at, at the top. But then you get in here and you get that fur note. So it's like a sparkling fur, right? So I don't know how to describe it really. Like take like Seven Up and go sit next to your Christmas tree and smell it. Right, or take like a sprite 
and go like rub one of the branches off your, your live um, uh, balsam fir or uh, northern fir or whatever. Uh, that's kind of what this what this smells like here. Um, I really like it. So it's zesty, it's bubbly, effervescent, right? Effervescent balsam, if that makes sense at all. Uh, but very nice, very pretty, very pretty. If you're looking for a more truer um, tree fragrance, I have that coming up here. That is what this year's tree fragrance is going to be, and that is Winter Wonder. We got snowman on there. We got tree. <clears throat> yeah. <clears throat> yeah, 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 yeah. <clears throat> So the top notes of fir, evergreen, and ozone, mid notes of grapefruit and balsam, bottom notes of evergreen and cedar wood. So this is your tree fragrance if you're looking for a new tree fragrance to try out. <clears throat> so that ozone note is supposed to be like cool air, right? Um, a cold feeling. Like if you walk outside, fresh snowfall, and then you can smell it. It's, it's weird to explain, but it's, it's that fresh fallen coldness right there mixed with the fur and the balsam. And then the wood gives it a nice fresh wood note on here. So if you are looking for a new Christmas tree scent, this is going to be it so far. I haven't seen the notes for country, but in the Kringle lineup, um, Winter Wonder is the way to go. Now, the last one here. <clears throat> Away in a Manger. Love that label. We have a Star of Bethlehem on there. Star of Bethlehem, we have a donkey. We have Mary, Joseph, and Jesus. And we have, um, I don't know, that's a mule. Are mules and donkeys different? <clears throat> that's kind of what it looks like on here. But anyhow, this is the Juicy Orange, at least on the top that I was describing. So the top notes of Juicy Orange, Mint Leaf Lemon, mid notes of Clove Bud, Rose, Cinnamon, Nutmeg, and base of Musk, Vanilla, <clears throat> and Cashmere Woods. Juicy Orange on top. It's a heavily Juicy Orange candle. But then it's toned down with a little bit of the clove. Not a intense clove or cinnamon on here, but it brings that juiciness down, grounds it, gives it a little bit of warmth to it there. And add a tinge of vanilla. Tinge of vanilla there. Overall, very pretty. Little zesty orange, juicy zesty orange here. It's bright, not too bright. Um, <clears throat> it's not Bayberry, right? It's not Silent Night from last year, so it's a little bit different than that. Um, but still a very, very beautiful label on here. All right, guys, so that's what I have for you. Don't forget you can use code PCM15, save 10% off your purchase. The information I have right now is October 1st for these. If that changes, I'll let you know that is a Saturday. Uh, it could be the Friday before, which is, I think is the 30th, right? Or 31st, I don't think there's 31 days in September, so I think it's like it would be the 30th there. Um, but if anything changes, I'll let you know. And of course, you can always reach out to me with questions. So, all right, everybody, thanks for watching and uh, stay safe out there.